Number 49. Explain why N22 plus is diamagnetic, while O24 plus, which has the same number of valence electrons, is paramagnetic. Okay, so basically what I have over here is are two different molecular orbitals. Now, these two molecular orbitals are different because of something called sp mixing. So when you're mixing up your sigma and your pi bonds, aka your s and p orbitals. Now, just know that in order to have sp mixing, you have to be in a specific group. These are your sp mixing molecular orbitals. If you see this one, this is all nice and symmetrical, right? These are on the top and the bottom of your p orbitals, and these are nice in the middle. Everything is symmetrical. Here, it's kind of like mixed up, where your sigma p is higher than your pi p's, when technically it should be lower. Now, just know that this is the one that has sp mixing, and this one is no sp mixing. Now, the reason here is because of the total amount of electrons and what group you're in. Just know that if you have sp mixing, you will be in group 1 through 5, or 1, 2, 3a, 4a, 5a. For this one, you're going to finish it out as group 6 through 8, or 6a, 7a, or 8a. Now here, since you're talking about nitrogen, nitrogen is in group 5. So it fits this molecular orbital. So this would be your N2, where you have your nitrogens as your atomic orbitals on the left and the right side, and then you have your N2 in the middle. For this one, we have our oxygen, because oxygen is in group 6. So we would be using this molecular orbital for oxygen. So that means that your two oxygens would be in the um, the, the left and the right side as your atomic orbitals, and then in the middle you have your molecular orbitals. So now, let's just fill these up, and we can actually see why N22 plus is diamagnetic and O24 plus is paramagnetic. So, N2 has a total, if we look on the periodic table, since it's in group 5, it has 5 valence electrons. So that means that I have to add 5 valence electrons on the left and the right side. i got to start from the lowest energy and work my way up. So 1, 2, got to fill this one before I go up to the next one. 3, 4, 5, and the same thing here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But now if you have a plus 2 charge, this means that you lost 2 electrons. So you just try to be as fair as possible, and instead of losing two on one side, we will lose one on each side. That's a total of two. And now we can add that charge. This would be N2, 2 plus. Because now the total electrons would have to equal in the, in the center. So I have four on this side and four on this side, so I just have to have four electrons in the middle. Got to start from the lowest energy, so one, two, sorry, did I say four? Two, uh, four plus four is eight, so I have to have eight electrons in the middle. So two, three, four, I come over here, five, six, seven, eight. And remember, diamagnetic means that you have all paired. So no unpaired electrons in your molecular diagram. And that's exactly what we see here. We see all pairs here. Versus O2. Now remember, O2 is in group 6, so that means that it has 6 valence electrons. So start from the bottom. I'll put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now this one is a plus 4, so that means that you lost 4 electrons. But I can't just lose, you know, 4 on this side. Let's just make it fair. I got 2 sides, so 2 on each side. 1, 2, 
three, four. And now, just like they said, we'd still have a total of eight electrons because four plus four is eight. Start from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have to evenly disper disperse these out because these orbitals are on the same energy, so you have to play fair. And this, since you have at least one unpaired, that's paramagnetic. If you're ending on an unpaired, that's paramagnetic. But if you're ending on all pairs, that's diamagnetic. So explain why N22 plus, and by the way, I'll just put that this one was O24 plus. So explain why N22 plus is diamagnetic, while O24 plus, which has the same number of electrons, is paramagnetic. It's because of SP mixing. N2 has SP mixing, while O2 does not. And because of that, your molecular orbitals, the, the, um, the different, mainly the sigma p x orbitals are different in energy and that's what makes one diamagnetic and one para and that's it i hope this helped let me know in the comments subscribe to the channel and i guess we'll just you know highlight this but basically everything that i have stated as far as words you guys can go and write it down if you need to write it down but it basically comes down to sp mixing and the difference between where that sigma p orbital is. And that's it. Thank you so much. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I'm looking forward to helping you with further problems. Keep studying hard. You guys got this. I believe in you. All right. So just keep studying. You got this. Keep going. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.